Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. This is a brand new beer from Lagonitas Brewing Company. This is their Stereohopic IPA. Now this one is, kudos to Lagonitas, a very unique thought process behind why they brewed this beer. So this beer is a, it's considered an IPA, and on the label, probably cannot see it, it says, Nelson Savant and Mosaic Hops, Volume 1. So this is clearly going to be a series that they're going to build off of in the years coming. So right now it's considered a limited limited release in their category of, of their, um, what's the word, um, annual beer volume releases. Um, it's 7.2% ABVs, it's 65% IBU, IBUs. The cool part about this beer is what they're trying to do is blend two different hops to bring out a flavor and a profile that would not normally be thought of. So again, I'm giving them a lot of credit. They're thinking outside the box here. So um, it says, essentially, with the Nelson hops, you're going to experience uh, pear, honeysuckle, and then the mosaics hop, mosaic hops which are typically very, very fruity. Um, they're talking about the, the berries, the pine, the dark fruits will come out. But it lends to what they're labeling as a 4D flavor in a 3D flavor world. And I think that's really cool. So they're really trying to blend several different hops to create an IPA with a flavor profile at the end that you as a consumer haven't experienced yet. And I think that's pretty cool. So it says, uh, uh, so kick off, no, yeah, kick off your kicks, kick back, crack one open, tune out, turn on, and enjoy Stereo Hopic Sound version one. Um, again, very well done with Lagony is the way they describe this. Um, they're really trying to bring out two different hops in a two hop IPA, which is also not as common now. So if you look at a lot of the big bangers, um, I just reviewed Hop Slam 2021, and it had six different hops in it. So the fewer amount of hops you bring into a beer, with the now very well experienced craft beer connoisseur who's willing to pay, I think this was only $12 a six pack, not by in terms of my price point, that's not a lot at all, but for some it is, especially new, some of the newer ones that are transitioning into the craft beer market. They're really trying to give you something different to go off of to keep it fresh, to keep the brewery exciting. So, um, let's get into this one. So, really, really interesting profile. So, very little carbonation, extremely filtered and crystal clear. I mean, you can see my hand through it. It almost, to me, looks a little orange in color. It is similar to what I would almost say a lager looks like. Um, it's a very thin white uh, head on it, lots of bubbles, but there is nothing underneath the bottom of this glass. So, not sure if you can see that. It's just, there's just not much there, um, but extremely filtered. All right, so this is interesting. So the aroma has a little bit of a, what I would call a Munich-ish malt background, but the Nelson hops absolutely will bring that out. And it, I don't know if the date's on here, I didn't look before I opened it up, but this smells extremely fresh. So I, I bought this a week ago, so um, there's no date on there, but it's, it's got a real crisp, it's um, it's almost like a, it's going to sound corny, but a fresh fall morning aroma to it. A little bit of pepper, lots of pine. It smells really good, but it smells extremely fresh. So I'm excited. Let's try this out. Cheers. That is not at all what I expected. All right, so it definitely has a lot of the, um, that what I call German sense to it. It's definitely a, 
got a little bit of, of a peppery, herbally, earthy, grainy, gritty uh, flavor to it. Now, the profile is not at all gritty. I mean, it's extremely clear. The beer is, is crystal clear. It definitely has a little bit of a, what I would call a German influence background with the malts. Um, for a too hopped beer, I would give this a very well done rating. Um, I rate my beers between one and five. I would probably give this about a 3.75. Um, I would definitely buy this again. It's different. It's It's got a profile to it that's extremely easy to drink. The finish is awesome. And it's a unique flavor. And, and that's, I've done beer reviews now for 10 years. And I've watched craft beer brewing blow up and grow this is different so what Lagunitas is doing behind this beer is smart they're trying to figure out how to keep a Lagunitas loyalist or even somebody who maybe bought Lagunitas IPA 10 years ago eight years ago and doesn't buy it anymore is like it you'll go to the store and say well I'll give Lagunitas another try they've got this new thing called stereohopic Got a great name. Most of the time, anything with Mosaic hops, if you like IPAs, you're gonna enjoy it. It's it just the profile of the Mosaic hop is just it's it's just easy to drink. It's got a lot of flavor to it. But the Nelson's von hops that brings in a little bit more of the of the organic, peppery, earthy side. So what they did was, I think, pretty ballsy. Um, it's good. I like it a lot. I would definitely buy this again. It was very different, which I give them a ton of kudos for. But I can see how some people may not be doing backflips over this one. So I'm going to give it definitely over a three rating for me, uh, which means I would buy it again. Let me know if you've tried it. Leave comments down below. If you haven't already, hit the like button. If you've made it this far, please subscribe. I upload... I'm going to upload a lot more. 2021 was not the best year for me for beer uploads. But uh, I appreciate you watching. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.